My father is Walt Reiner. He and my mother, Lois Reiner, were founders of Project Neighbors along with many other people. We're a group of people without a paid staff, with good hearts and best intentions, who look around and say, what needs to be done that nobody else is doing, and we do it. It started out building houses with volunteers for people who couldn't afford housing, couldn't qualify for a mortgage, wouldn't have qualified for Habitat for Humanity. Very poor people. People believe that if you're uninsured or if you're poor that you have access to Medicaid, you have some way of getting health care. And for the most part, that's not true. People often just go from like urgent care visit to urgent care visit. We all knew that, that the families were going to be able to climb out of poverty. They needed child care. They needed free medical dental. Typically, patients don't go anywhere if HealthLink or, or places like HealthLink don't exist. What they do is they wait till they're so sick that they need emergent care. Walt and I were taking this walk down uh, to the old campus one night and uh, came abreast of Moody Labs. And they go to the emergency room, and the emergency room can only just provide a short-term fix for what their problem is. Walt took one look at it and backed up and looked at it from all angles and said, perfect. And I thought he was crazy. And that's when he said, for $30,000, we could turn this into a hell of a child care and health clinic. I said I was a, uh, a contractor, a builder and Walt's eyes got very big, as if he finally had found what he was looking for. We brought in uh, all the volunteers that were, were helping us renovate it. Um, the football team broke through one wall, the basketball team did the landscaping, volunteers, uh, we had uh, a lot of 80-year-old women painting. The motivation, the inspiration, the inertia that this whole organization has provided its members was the thing that saw us through it obviously completing it was such a victory and such a confidence builder that the organization I think um, I, I think all of Valparaiso sees that we can meet a need if we join forces and work at it and that's a great feeling. And it became clear that we'd hit a nerve that the the need in that community was so tremendous there was no way to meet the need in that little in that little space. They decided to build a new building on the lot next door. The Hilltop Neighborhood House raised the money and built that building and turned it over to a new organization, Hilltop Health Center. HealthLink used to be called, from the beginning, Hilltop Community Health Center. We became HealthLink and slowly started adding more clinics. And it's got five clinics. But the growth of that health center is like nothing I've ever seen. There was constant growth from the first day all the way through the new facility. One thing that's very, very important about that health center is they built the services around the needs of the patients. It's everything. It's, it's medical, it's dental, we're going to have optometry, we have mental health. We do a wide spectrum of family medicine services, everything from uh, babies, pregnancy care, to nursing home care and hospice. It's treating the whole patient not just one part of that patient. Nurse practitioners are educated to be team players, and that is what we do here. We work as a team to care for our patients. You can talk to physicians if you know a patient has diabetes or they have high blood pressure. You can discuss their treatment with them as well. Our culture here is really to be a part of a team. We discuss how we can take care of patients. We decide on the best ways to take care of patients. And at the same time, there is an atmosphere in which we can challenge each other. So it is combination both the medical that I will provide the care and then coming from the psychology point of view, it really works very well and I couldn't be any happier. The initial perception of an FQHC was a medical care of last resort. Uh, that is not the case here. Our mission is to the community at large. It is to serve people who have alternatives but want good quality health care. The best care possible, the, the best, most updated standard of care to, to all of our patients, no matter what their, their status is. We are here to take care of everyone in the community for the underinsured, the insured, the no insured at all. It is affordable. We provide the same care consistently at a great price. A lot of procedures that they otherwise would not be able to have completed in a private office with private fees, we can do that for them here. For our uninsured patients, we offer services on a sliding fee scale 
based on their income. Lots of them just come because of the reputation that we have, because of the care that we give. And they use us as their general practitioner as well, and we've had them for years and years. So you have commitment, you have high quality care, really strong leadership, and you've got financial support. Um, and all those elements are now in place there. The people who work here in HealthLink, they really care for the people, for their needs, for their well-being. People are working here not because they just want a paycheck or just because they you know, want a job. They're working here because they want to help people. I mean, what we want our patients to feel is that they're getting the same kind of care they would get anywhere else, that the quality of their care is, is important to us. I know the doctors at HealthLink don't do it just for the paycheck. They do it because they perceive there is a genuine need and they have some ability to meet that need. These people stick with it. They don't just do this for a year and say, well, I'm giving back to the community or something, and then they go off and, you know, private practice. They have stuck with it for, you know, decades. Knowing the difference that you have in a patient's life, and it just makes you want to stay here. It, it always comes back to the same thing. The favorite thing about working here are the patients. There continues to be a need for what we're doing and we're getting a lot of attention as being the future of healthcare.